can you, have, you know, can we ever create Dobby the house elf? Well, um, I've actually met Dobby. That's me and my wife and Dobby in New York a few years ago. And here's the guy who created uh, Dobby, David Andrews, from Industrial Light and Magic. And they use computers to create these characters. Although it was interesting talking to him because Dobby's got lots of expressions looking a bit furtive, looking a bit mischievous and so on. And they had to use character actors to play these things out so they could understand the subtle nuances of expression so they could get him to look just right. And similarly, when that scene, when Dobby's bouncing up and down on Harry's bed, and you look at the way that the blankets are squishing, it's very difficult to use computers to simulate that, and they had to do quite a lot of work on that as well. So that's one way that you can create a character like Dobby. But there's another way coming uh, from Muggle Science, and that's thanks to genetics. There's been a huge amount of work, particularly on fruit flies, where you look at the recipe for a fruit fly, the genetic recipe of a fruit fly, and it's carried in a very important molecule called DNA. <coughs> and if you can understand the code in this DNA, you can understand how to change the body plan. So you can put wings on in a strange way like this, or you can make small wings, or you can make extra wings. You can grow legs instead of antennae. Um, there's one fruit fly mutant called bicordal, which has got no head, not much of a body, and two bottoms. You can do very strange things indeed. And what's amazing is that the instructions that are used in the fruit fly to change the body plan, you could, quite a lot of them are similar to instructions used to lay down our body plan as well. So you could imagine how you could create a creature like Dobby. I hasten to add that Muggle law and regulations completely forbids anyone from doing uh, a genetic experiment like that. But you could even create Fluffy the dog. There's a weird gene called Cerberus where, strangely, it's a, it's a signal to build a trunk. And when you switch off Cerberus, you get a head. It's very peculiar. It's sort of, you know, the body's not, the nature's not working the way you'd expect. So if you turn off this gene three times, you can get three heads. So you can imagine how you could build Fluffy the dog. You're all looking stunned and disbelieving. Again, no one's going to try this, so relax. But again, it's one of those fascinating insights you get from science. 